Welcome back. In the previous class, we have studied about functions with parameters. Today, we are doing something which we call as a function prototype. Now, what is this and how does it work? Generally, what happens is you have learned in the previous class as well. When we have to define a function, let's say I have to define a function. We have to define the function before we call it. That means if, for example, if I have certain lines of code and let's say, for example, I'm calling the function over here. So here's the function call. I have to define it somewhere here before the call of the function. But when it comes to function prototype, we can define a function even after calling the function as well. That is done using the concept of function prototype. So what is it? How does it work? Let's understand. So let's understand this with an example. If I write void addition and I'm going to pass, let's say, int comma int. After that, I'm going to write my main function and I'm going to call the function over here, which is addition. And let's pass 7 comma 3, return 0. Then I'm going to define the function void addition. I'm going to write, let's say, int a comma int b. And here I'm going to print a plus b. Now over here, if you see, the compiler has the information that here we have using functions and it parameters. Now here, if you see this particular line, this is the function prototype. So here, as you can see that we are, we can use the code to call the function before the function has defined, as you can see over here. So we're calling the function here, but we're defining it afterwards. So that means using a function prototype, which is this one, I can call the function before I'm defining that particular function. Now let's understand this with a program so that you can understand it much more better. So here I have a program and as you can see, I have tried to do the same thing only just a little bit difference. Firstly, I have made the function prototype. So here I'm going to give a comment and write FP over here in short form function prototype. So here I have an add function, which has two data types passed to it. Then I have a main function where I have made a variable sum and that sum is equal to the calling of the function. It's the same and I'm passing two values to it. And then it's simply printing the sum, which is stored over here. So that means 178 will be stored in the sum and I'm printing it. But till now the function is not yet defined. So out of the main function, I have written int add same name of the function int a and int b two parameters have been passed and I'm returning a plus b. This return will come back to this add whatever the answer is it will store in the sum and will print it. So if I run the code I should get 178 as an answer. So as you can see it's working perfectly fine. So it's very simple to understand function prototype is we simply make a prototype in order for us to call the function before we even define it. So it's that simple to understand and that is the whole concept of function prototype. If you have any doubts regarding function prototype you can put down in the comment section.